Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. There comes a time in many crocheters lives when they will be asked to make a ch foundation chain that is a specific length and then they will be asked to join that chain in the first chain uh, to form a ring. And the trick when you're making these rings is always keeping your chain straight and not having it twist so that when you come back to work in it your stitches are straight and your chain is um, nice and straight and even. So today we are going to learn a couple of techniques that I have used when I am working foundation chains and then asked to join them in the first chain. Uh, a couple of techniques to help you keep it from twisting. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you haven't already Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with crochet stitch tutorials and patterns. So for the first uh, technique that I like to use, today you're going to start by making your slip knot and chaining a certain number of chains. So whatever number of chains your pattern calls for. This technique is great if you have a chain that you need to join that's not too too long so I I think between the 30 and 40 chain range this is the one that I tend to use uh, when I'm just joining a smaller foundation chain so you make your chain as long as you need to whatever the pattern uh, for calls and then what I do you can see here it's all twisted now I don't want to just join because then when I work my stitches into it um, the chain and the foundation row there will also be twisted so I don't want that. What I want to do is I want to make sure it's nice and straight. So if I have a shorter chain what I will do is I will take my thumb and I will place it over these back bumps here on, um, on my chain and then I will slowly run my fingers along that chain making sure that my thumb stays along those back bumps just like so and you can see my chain straightening out. Then when I come to my final stitch I simply bring it around, insert my hook and then join with my slip stitch. That is the first method that I will sometimes use when I need to join in that first stitch to keep my chain, my foundation chain from uh, from twisting. Now this second technique that I'm going to show you is a great way to keep your chain from twisting if you are working uh, many many stitches in your chain. So for instance uh, in my winter frost headband I ask you to make a foundation chain of 65 which you will for, which you will then join in the first chain with a slip stitch so 65 chains is quite a few and again I don't want it to twist because I want that foundation chain to be nice and straight so what I am going to do is I'm going to start by chaining 10 six seven eight nine ten and really it's just a number that you feel comfortable with and that you are confident that you would be able to join without having it twist so it could be 10 it could be 15 today I will do 10 and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my crochet hook from that loop and I'm going to instead insert it in that first chain that I made so I'm going to insert it in that first chain. Then I'm going to bring my working loop around and I'm also going to put that onto my hook. Then if you take a look at your chain, you can see it's nice and straight. Now I have 10 chains, but I need a total of 65. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue on from the 10 and continue to chain, make, um, make my chain stitches. So I have 10, I'll just continue 11, 12, 13, and so on. And as I'm doing that, I'm only um, bringing that loop through that first loop on my hook. The other uh, first chain is still back here up further on the shaft of my hook. And I can just continue to make my chains as many as I need. Um, even if you needed 100, you can just keep making your chain as long as you need. Keep that first chain on the shaft of your crochet hook. 
And then once you've come to the number of chains that you require for the pattern that you are working, and it comes time to join in the first uh, chain stitch, all you have to do is with that loop up here by the hook of your um, crochet hook, you're just going to pull that loop through the tail end of your foundation chain. And that's all there is to it. Now if you look back at your chain, you can see that it is nice and straight and you're going to be able to work in it without worrying about it twisting as you go. Those are the two techniques that I like to use when joining my foundation chains to make sure that they don't twist. So thank you so much. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for joining me and happy crocheting. Until next time, bye.